there is a strong tendency these days to just clump all comic book films and TV shows into theme park rides. That's all they are, that's all they ever have been, and all ever will be. They are theme park rides. I'm gonna talk about why people don't know what an actual theme park ride film is. <laughs> So before we get into this, I have to explain what a theme park ride is. A theme park ride, like let's say a roller coaster, right? You get on the roller coaster, you pay for your ticket, the thing goes up, you get real excited at its peak, and then it drops down, and then the excitement goes, oh my god, and then it slowly tapers off, you get to the end, and the ride is done. And that's it, it's done. The next day, you forgot about it, it's over. That's it. That's it. That's a theme park ride. People used to refer to specific films as theme park rides because that's all they were. You saw it once, and that's it. So modern day theme park rides slash theme park movies have sort of just become everything now. If you hate it, it's a theme park ride, right? And if you love it, it's a cinematic exhibition. You know, Batman v Superman was apparently not a theme park film. That was like deep, complex cinema. But Civil War was a simple theme park ride. Neither one of those are theme park rides. Why? Because they have a lasting effect and a conversation surrounding them. Theme park rides are films that people literally see, and then the next day, it's over. You're done. You're never really going to talk about it. You're not going to really think about it. Examples of these films that people have recently pointed to that are accurate are something like Avatar. And trust me, I love Avatar. I love those films. You guys know this. I talk about them. I make videos on this channel about Avatar. But that's a theme park ride. You go in for the visuals and the experience, but chances are you don't even remember these characters' names after. And that's true. I do because I'm a fan of them. But for most people, you sit down, you bought your ticket, you enter Pandora, you exit Pandora, the excitement is gone, and you move on. Fast and the Furious is also seen as a theme park film. Family, meme, car, explosion, done. And then you just wait for the next one, and every couple years you go back to the theme park, you take the ride, and it's over. But the MCU, and even the DC Universe, they have an ongoing thing where you talk about it. How does this go to that? How does it connect to this? And sure, they have some parallels with theme park rides where they're big blockbusters, and they're all about... Oh, ah, boom, explosion, excitement. And then when it's over, you're like, okay. But they also leave you talking about it. When Infinity War ends, you're shocked. Everybody was. And you want to know what's next. So is Infinity War a theme park ride because we kept talking about it for a year straight till Endgame? Yes and no. It has that effect, but it also has staying power. And if it didn't, we wouldn't be talking about it today. You know what film doesn't get talked about today because it was a theme park ride? 300. There's a theme park ride for you. But unfortunately, Hollywood is blurring the lines between the two because they're trying to dumb things down. And it seems like that the age of the theme park ride might honestly end because everything is just slowly morphing into that. Where you're only getting those types of things and build up to the next one and, well, not a whole lot more, it seems. Thank you.